Prabhupada used to often point and mention that we should not become impersonal. We should not become impersonal. Now, Prabhupada did not necessarily mean that impersonal means the Mayavadi, who is holding on to the concept of impersonal philosophy, that absolute truth is impersonal. Prabhupada used to apply that among our dealings with each other, we should not become impersonal. impersonal. Our dealings should be very personal. We should be very personal when we are dealing with each other. Personal means what? Person means what? Person means individual with feeling. Right? Why this table is not a person? Because it doesn't have consciousness. Right? But why you and I, we all are person? Because we are conscious. That's why you are person. And conscious means feeling. So we should feel for each other. We should feel for each other. But how the other person will feel if I act in such and such way? Certain actions will make him feel happy. Certain actions will hurt him. So if we consider that, then we will naturally act accordingly. We will not act in such a way that we hurt him. And if we, even if we hurt somebody, and if we realize that, then what should we do? We should tell him, I'm sorry. No, I was in a depression. <laughs> and I flared up. I was angry. <coughs> and that is how the community of Krishna <coughs> should react to it. That is, Prabhupada always pointed out. Like we, Prabhupada used to say, sometimes there used to be complaints that such and such devotee acted in such a way, or devotees fought with each other. It's not that during Prabhupada's time, devotees didn't fight. Actually, during Prabhupada's time, sometimes devotees, devotees fought even more seriously than they do now. But Prabhupada, Prabhupada just told them. Even in the family, brothers fight. But after five minutes, they become friends. So if we are a family, if we have relationship with each other, if we feel for each other, then we will deal with each other with certain degree of sensitivity. Mm -hmm. 